as you can see, it's still raining outside. You know, it's a bit of a rainy day today. There's also thunder and lightning. Well, you hear that? Okay. Look. First, I want to talk about black milk. Okay. What exactly is black milk? Can you tell me? You see, you have different definitions of black milk. It depends on, you know, in which country you live, which dialect of the language you're speaking. Now, I'm going to give a biblical, you know, definition of black milk. Or what, according to the scripture, can be considered black milk. Black milk. It, let me say, I'm speaking the English language now, so it, I, I'm going to give a background upon of the word background of the word black milk. You see, in ancient times and also till the 1960s, you know, people didn't use electronic mail like emails or text messages or anything. So if you had to deliver a message, the email went through the radio, you know, or through mail. Okay, until the 1800s, you know, it was through mail on written paper that they transferred, you know, messages around the globe. And if you received a mail that was threatening, you know, when if someone would coerce you to do something for them or else, that would be blackmail. It would be a negative message you're receiving, which would threaten your life and your quality of life unless you cooperate with the desires of the one that's threatening you. That's what black milk is, okay? So, now that we have a definition of black milk, it's also according to the scripture, and I'll explain why. Because, you know, the only being in the universe that deserves our full allegiance, our complete reference, obedience, and loyalty is the Lord, only He. So he has a right to be number one and to receive a yes all the time. Because it's his universe, it's his galaxies, his solar systems, you understand it, okay? So only he has a right to expect a yes all the time. Only he. Whenever another being in the universe, which is a created being, because all other beings besides the creator are created, that's why they're called creatures. They're created, okay? They came into existence, so they're not independent. They don't exist out of themselves, okay? So they're not God, okay? So understand that. Whenever a creature demands a yes all the time, and he or she begins to use manipulation and violence to get their yes all the time, that's blackmail, okay? You see, and human beings blackmail each other all the time. Some in open, you know, overt ways, others in covert ways. However, it's still blackmail, okay? You see, we didn't create ourselves. You know, we don't exist out of ourselves. We are dependent, needy beings as human beings, okay? And we need the Creator, His grace, to live. So, we only have rights as human beings as long as it's, it's in line with the glory and majesty of the Creator. Every other right that isn't in line with the majesty and grace of the Creator, that's black milk. Just think about it. Okay? Now, I'm going to leave it till now. In coming videos, I'll go deeper into black milk. Okay? Well, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.